All right, welcome to part three of the InRead series. Uh, today we're going to talk about the CA Mover Tuning plugin for Unraid. Uh, with this application, or actually plugin, what it does, it's responsible for moving the files that have been sent or have been saved onto the cache drive and are needing to be moved over to the array. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, this should be a pretty quick video. Uh, I'm just going to quickly touch on the plugin itself and just go over the, some of the settings of what I have. Um, a lot of these settings, I know a little bit of it um, from what I've tinkered with and what I've gotten to working. Um, but, you know, feel free to make adjustments. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's go to uh, the App Store and let's go ahead and look for the Mover Tuning. Okay. Now once you have it, it's going to be the Mover Tuning. Uh, looks like it's a Squid's repository. So let's go ahead and install it. <clears throat> All right. Once it's installed, hit done. All right. And it should show installed in blue. Okay, so now if we go to plugins, you'll now show the CA Mover Tuning uh, plugin now available. Okay, and so now if we go to say, I believe it's under main. Yeah, so you can either get to it using the main. Um, so if you see where it says move and schedule, uh, this is where you're going to be able to set the schedule for the mover tuning or for the actual mover to actually take place uh, so if you go to here I know it says no parity disk present um, this part really doesn't doesn't matter at this moment but eventually once we add the parity disk you could actually go in here and set a schedule either once a month or once a week however uh, you could set that up here to do a parity check um, now the settings that we want to look at today are going to be the mover settings. All right. Now the mover settings. Let's go ahead and start from the top. The mover schedule. I have mine set to hourly. Um, I like for the mover to be checking hourly if possible. Uh, so every hour, and then. I have that set to disable, so that's all done. Okay, now let's go and apply that just so we can save the settings. Now, going to the mover tuning uh, with age and days old. So, quickly, I'm just going to go through what I have set up on my primary server and what I'll be using on the secondary server. Um, so, for the first one, I have no normal, normal, and then this option right here <clears throat> I, I it's it's very questionable because reading this description only move at threshold of use cache space so I've noticed that when I set this say 75 or 70 percent well nothing actually happens and I'm not exactly sure why I've played with it and nothing um, but what I have found and I'm gonna skip around just a little bit is when you get down to this setting here when you hit yes and then you adjust the setting here uh, if you were to set this to say 75 or 80 then once it reaches this this uh, threshold then the, the mover um, is invoked so I don't know why this is set up like this uh, in my opinion, just it's it's a little misleading because it just doesn't work the way it should, unless somebody else can explain this a little bit better to me. But I can't find anything to to make this work correctly. But what I have found is that this is the best way to get this to work the way it should. Um, let me see if there's any other settings that were adjusted. No, no. No, that's pretty much it. That's about the only thing that I have adjusted on mine. Um, so this one should be good to go. All right. 
Uh, trim schedule, I don't really mess with the trim schedule. Or I haven't really had the need to. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit apply. Okay, so now the way we have this set up is so now when the cache drive reaches, well, let's, yeah, 80% is fine. So when it reaches 80%, well now the mover will basically begin to move files off of the cache drive and put them onto the array. So any files that are not needed on the cache drive will begin to get moved over to the array. All right. Um, now also, if you wanted to move manually, you could also just hit the move button and those files will begin to move manually um, or you'll invoke the, the mover manually. Uh, besides that, that's pretty much it. This, this was a quick video. Uh, if you have any questions um, or comments, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. I greatly appreciate it. All right, guys. Until next time. Thanks.